A long time ago, uh, I was working in a school with three classes of grade five leadership students and they decided that their service learning project would be to collect books for the local food bank on the peninsula. Um, since that time, I have retired and I had energy and interest in giving back to the community and decided to um, continue on with the 1000 by 5 project. Um, the goal of which is to have all children have at least 1,000 books read to them by the time they're five years old. Um, first of all, in, in the reading to, to babies, there's the bonding that happens between the parent and child. Um, children don't necessarily understand the words when they're babies, but they do love to hear the sound of the mother's voice. Um, the father's voice or other family members and soon um, their language development is uh, increased by the kind of, of language they hear from books. Um, their cognitive capacity is increased because they're learning things that they may not learn in other ways and really when you when you add up the number of book sharing experiences that are possible throughout a year and then those years prior coming to school um, children have a wealth of knowledge and information that has come from books their imaginations have been stimulated um, and more important than anything when they do come to school um, children who have been read to a lot feel like they belong in what we call the literacy club. Uh, they know particular authors, they're familiar with particular illustrators, they understand that story has a beginning, a middle and an end, and they know what to do when book time happens. So they're set up for early success. All of our bags are, uh, um, have three books in them and they're wrapped like a present. And the reason for that is because we want to reinforce the notion that, that reading is important and this is a gift to the family and um, we want to, to stress how important it is that um, people take time from their day to spend time with the children. Altogether, we have managed to collect 187,000 books for redistribution across the community. And if you, if you think about what, um, what that means, um, you can think in terms of most elementary school libraries have between 12 and 15,000 books. Middle school library has about 25,000 books. Some community libraries have only 30,000 and so we've collected and redistributed many libraries worth of books already. Uh, our school districts um, provide us places to work. Um, books that are collected at the schools are brought to us by the school district couriers. We have um, a huge group of volunteers, that's, that's all wonderful. Um, we've had support from service clubs, Rotary especially, and um, Orca Books here in Victoria. Um, that's been great, but we still have a need for funding support um, to purchase supplementary books because we don't get a lot of books for babies or the, the little toddlers they get chewed or dropped in the bathtub or they get porridge on them um, or maybe families keep them for their treasure box. Uh, we have to purchase our bags, our tags, our labels that go on the bags and in the books. Um, so we do have some expenses. We are having an impact. At the same time, new children are born every year and so we need to keep going.